Hi, so I'm recording this video at 2 a.m. So I might sound sleepy, but this will be me going through 47 sabers. Hello. Okay, starting with the rose saber. You could almost touch this one. So apparently this is from SAO, but I don't remember seeing this in SAO. So I went and did a Google search and apparently it's in the new season of SAO, which is why I didn't know about it. And then I got in this rabbit hole of looking at people making cosplay swords. And boy, I really want to make a cosplay sword. Those cosplay swords look so cool. And next up, we have something that looks kind of like a lamp post. What I really like about this one is how the light trails are at the very tip. It just feels really nice to use. And I'm pretty sure that this one is from Zelda. The ice sword. It's just so pretty. I really like it. And next up, we got some chainswords. I really like how they made the light trails follow the blade of the sword. So it's a wide light trail. That was really smart of them to do. However, I couldn't help but feel like I was waving around plastic swords. And this one is really interesting. So the handle part of the sword rotates slowly. And it's really cool to look at, except for the fact that when I'm waving around, it's hard to notice any sort of movement. Oh, okay. Now let's take a look at the details. This sword looks amazing. It's by Ho Hui or Hoi. We'll see a lot more of Hui in the rest of this video. Hui seems to have really amazing modeling skills. The Duress Sword, this sword has a catch. Each blade renders on a separate eye. So we can only see the right sword here, but the left sword is being rendered on my left eye. It's hard to see. Not a lot of the sabers have this kind of fiery texture to them, and it really makes this one unique. Here we have drumsticks. Gotta adjust the width on this one. I kind of wish that they just made the trails at the tips of the drumsticks here. Okay, what do we have next? Ah, the energy sword. Now, this one is super satisfying to use. It's a big chunky sword and it made me feel like an anime protagonist. Hmm, gotta love this one. There's another magical wand I'll be showing later, but what's unique about this one? is that it's colored and I think whoever made it did a really good job at the coloring. Using two looks a bit derpy so I tried it with just one hand and yeah it feels much more natural.
looks like a normal saber, doesn't it? Nothing special about these sabers. Oh wait, take a look up there. Fireworks, that's right. It's a fireworks saber. And triggers when you hit blocks. Properly, of course. Celebration time. Tommy has a lot of these sabers with really cool particle effects. These ones are a bit funny because they look really pointy at the end. The trails are so darn satisfying. Ooh, interesting. What do we have here? Bamboo? Take a close look. So glittery. Glittery like the galaxy. These ones are just really pretty. Mm, but other than that, nothing too special. Ooh. What? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh, whoops. I really like these. Definitely one of my favorites. The animation is just so good so good and the sword design too it really is perfect the bottom of the sword has a pretty fiery particle trail but the top is like a paintbrush and it just matches super well And it's, it's Hooey again. Hooey back with the really interesting saber designs. What's cool about this saber, if you pay attention to the particle trails. Well, this saber is made out of the hexes. And it almost looks like those hexes are falling off on the particle trail. Okay, this is for you Hololive fans out there. This is Holoame for Amelia. These clocks are so shiny. They're just really shiny, really, really shiny. And it's cool how you can tell that the handles of these sabers are supposed to be leather. I thought I would like these more, but even though the handles are super cool, the blade just, eh, it's not so satisfying to play with. And another hollow live one, hollow live, hollow low live. It's so hard to say that. Uh, but hear me out, even though these look super weird. These are actually one of my favorite. Look at that. It's so glittery. Nothing else I tried out has such a glittery effect. I love it. Even though they're tentacles, trust me, these are some of the best saber particles I've seen. I think what makes it work so well is the fact that not only are the particles glittery, but the blade itself kind of looks glittery too.
Okay, so I recorded this video all in one take and at this point I'm starting to regret my decision a little bit. All these sabers are starting to look really similar. This one is pretty cute. It's very simple. You know the charm point? It's the paw print for sure. Another SAO one. I hate to say it, but something about this model just feels off to me. The trails are pretty nice though. I like the simplicity of it. Now if you've watched this far, please leave me a like and subscribe. I would appreciate that greatly. Now we've got some pretty interesting ones by Kylon. I really like this one because it makes me feel like a martial artist. And I don't know, could someone actually practice a sword with that? This is the one from the start of the video. I really really like it. Definitely my number one. So it's kind of annoying to play with because the back of the handle keeps getting in my way, in my field of vision. However, when playing it in third person, it just looks so cool. I just, I can't get over that. And I'm all about the visuals. Not to mention, the blade is super duper shiny. It's very attractive. And of course, we can't leave out the League Sabers, Miku's icons. You ain't no Beat Saber player without League Sabers, so go get your League Sabers. Whoops. These ones are gorgeous. Just gorgeous. The design is amazing. It's just so sleek. They did an amazing job on these. And I saw in a different video that these might even be viable for competitive play. Ooh. <laughs> I can't help but like these. They're a little over the top with the whole asteroids. The pastel aesthetic is very pleasing. Now this one. It's a rainbow! Gotta love rainbows. What I noticed about this one, it's a rainbow, but it's hard to tell it's a rainbow unless it gets to the slower parts, and then the colors are much easier to make out. Not much to say about this one. It looks pretty simple, but I was surprised at how comfortable it was to use these. Oh my goodness, it's Eiffel Tower. Are we in Paris? Okay. Um, I'm gonna keep these. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the Eiffel Towers because it can't hurt to have an Eiffel Tower to look at every time I open up Beat Saber. Anyway. These sabers, these sabers are super pretty. The particle trills, they're just fiery and very, very satisfying. Simple, both of them are white. Not a lot of sabers are white. Simple, good. Portal saber, very cool animation. This guy right here. You are a cutie. <laughs> this saber is so fun to play with. There's something about the combination of knowing you're a cutie and seeing that fiery pink trail that makes this worth using.
Oh my gosh, it's it's the quack saber. Holy quack. Hail to holy quack. Hi quack. <laughs> this is one of my favorite sabers, not gonna lie. It's all because of the trails. Those particle trails last so long. It's just so fun to play with. You can see all of the loops happening in front of you. And there's the added bonus of the ducks. Hooray! Another one of my favorites. Again by Tommy with the cool particle stuff. So basically, every time you hit a block, it triggers these ice particles. And then overall, when you hit the blocks, it snows. These are the sabers to use if you want to limit your mistakes. Pretty sure these are from Kingdom Hearts. Not a huge fan of these saber designs, but because I'm all about the particle trails, I really like these due to their unique particle trails. And next, it's another magical girl. Girl, 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 saber. <laughs> this time it's Sakura's wand. And damn, it looks cool in third person. Really makes my avatar look like a true magical girl. However, I will warn you. In first person mode, eh, it's not so interesting. Next is Scissor Blades from Kill a Kill. And of course, these need a spot because Kill a Kill rocks. These simple thin sabers are simple thin. Simply thin. This one is insane. This one is insane. Okay, it's kind of almost impossible to play with these things because the lightning is so extreme but it looks so cool it looks so cool bzz, bzz, bzz. these ones are super duper futuristic futuristic apparently these ones are available on quest I love the texturing of the blades on this. It's really pretty. And it really does look like a diamond staff. It also feels so good to play with these. I actually played several songs when testing them out. Because the game feel was just so good. Giant sticks i was like these are boring and then i tried them out and i was like whoa what the heck oh that's why it's called vvvv vvv bear with me here we're almost at the end <laughs> these are winged sabers and these are the most detailed wings i found What's kind of crazy about them is that when you flip them over, the wing feathers are transparent. The person who made them said they just left them like that because they thought it was funny. Hey look, it's another rainbow shtick. This rainbow shtick, even when you move it around, it still looks rainbow. And I really like that. The only problem is that in-game it's super painful. Unicorn time? Unicorn time? Yes! I mean, yeah, <laughs> they're unicorn horns and they feel like unicorn horns and sure do look like unicorn horns. <sighs> if you made this far through 47 sabers, congratulations and you darn better subscribe to my channel if you haven't. <laughs> I sometimes stream Beat Saber, but 
Uh, usually it's kind of scuffed. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, check out my stream. I stream on Saturdays. And check out the rest of my channel to see if anything piques your interest. In. I, uh, let me know which one was your favorite. I'd love to know. Yeah. And let me know if there's any other sabers you'd like me to test out. I will do so. Gladly. Now, have a wonderful day and a wonderful time. Time? Yeah, a wonderful time on the internet and off of the internet too. Um, bye bye YouTube watcher. Until next time.